let me share my screen. Hare Krishna, thank you everyone for joining today's session. Before that, we'll start with our pranam prayers. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Salakaya Chakshurun Vilitam Yeha Tatsvai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Ishtupadaya Krishna Preshtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sunyavadi Vasyata Desha Tarini Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadara Sri Vasadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna before before starting our session, let us welcome Monica Mataji to this group with three loud Hari Bowls. Hari Bowl, Hari Bowl, Hari Bowl. Welcome, Monica Mataji. Hari Krishna Prabhuji, Danwad Pranam. Thank you, Pranam. Pranam. Thank you for giving some great opportunity. Okay, thank you for your resources, Mataji. So, here it is, here is a procedure, Mataji. We are going with translation and purpose. So I will I will be calling the, the name. So based on that, you unmute yourself and read the highlighted text, Mataji. So without much delay, let me share my screen. So we have start, we are starting with Pratyat Sloka. Translation and purport by his divine grace, AC Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Ki Chai. Hare Krishna, Monica, you can read the translation in the first paragraph of the purpose. Hare Krishna, Krishna, you're not audible. Hare Krishna. Yeah, no, you're not. Yeah. I can't hear you. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I didn't get you, Mataji. Uh, you want me to study translation, Prabhuji? Or the, the translation and first paragraph. I, I have highlighted the text. Okay, Prabhuji. Okay, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. So his son would become famous in the world as Parishit examiner because he could come to examine all human beings in his search after that personality whom he saw before his birth. Thus he could come to constantly competent him. Parpar, Maharaj Parishit, fortunate as he was, got the impression of the Lord even in the womb of his mother and thus his competition on the, on the Lord was constantly with him. Once the impression of the transcendental form of the Lord is fixed in one's mind, one can never forget him in any circumstance. Child Parikshit, after coming out of the womb, was in the habit of examining everyone to see whether he was in the same personality whom he first saw in the womb. But no one could be equal to or more attractive than the Lord. And therefore, he never accepted anyone. But the Lord was constantly with him by such examination. And thus, Maharaj Parikshit was always engaged in the devotional service of the Lord by remembrance. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Guru Ji, Dandavatuna. Hare Krishna. Purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Srila Jeeva Goswami remarks in this connection that every child, if given an impression of the Lord from his very childhood, 
certainly becomes a great devotee of the Lord, like Maharaj Parikshit. One may not be as fortunate as Maharaj Parikshit to have this opportunity to see the Lord in the womb of his mother. But even if he is not so fortunate, he can be made so if the parents of the child desire him to be so. There is a practical example in my personal life in this connection. My father was a pure devotee of the Lord and when I was only four or five years old, my father gave me a couple of forms of Radha and Krishna. In a playful manner, I used to worship these deities along with my sister and I used to imitate the performances of a neighboring temple of Radha Govind. By constantly visiting the neighboring temple and copying the ceremonies in connection with my own deities of play, I developed a natural affinity for the Lord. My father used to observe all the ceremonies defecting my position. Later on, these activities were suspended due to my association in the schools and colleges. And I became completely out of my practice. But in my youthful days, when I met my spiritual master, Sri, Sri Srimad Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Maharaj, again I revived my old habit. And the same playful deities became my worshipful deities in uh, proper regulation. This was followed up until I left the family connection and I am pleased that my generous father gave the first impression which was developed later into regulative devotion, devotional service by his divine grace. Maharaj Prahlad also advised that such impressions of a godly relation must be impregnated from the beginning, beginning of childhood. Otherwise, one may miss the opportunity of the human form of life, which is very valuable, although it is temporary like others. Hare Krishna. Translation of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta, Sri Ramapadhi, As the moon in its rising fortnight developed day after day, so the royal prince Parikshit very soon developed luxuriantly under the care and full facilities of his guardian grandfathers. Translation of Arpat by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta, Sri Ramapadhi, Ki Ichai. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Pushka. Uh, Hare Krishna, translation. Just at this time, King Yudhishthira was considering performing a hot sacrifice to get freed from sins, incurred from fighting with kinsmen. But he became anxious to get some wealth, for there were no surplus funds outside of fines and tax collection. Purport. As the Brahmanas and Vipras had a right to be subsided by the state, the state executive head had the right to collect taxes and fines from the citizens. After the battle of Kurukshetra, the state treasury was exhausted and therefore there was no surplus fund except the fund from tax collection and fines. Such funds were sufficient only for the state budget and having no excesses fund. The king was anxious to get more wealth in some other way in order to perform the earth sacrifice. Maharaja Yudhishthira wanted to perform this sacrifice under the instruction of Vishma Deva. Hare Krishna. Translation of Parpat by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta, Sri Prabhupada Ki Iche. Hare Krishna, Sarishya Matina Vishya Prabhu, you can get these two paragraphs. Hare Krishna. Translation. Understanding the hearty wishes of the king, his brothers, as advised by the infallible Lord Krishna, collected sufficient riches from the north left by King Maruta. Purport, Maharaj Maruta, one of the great emperors of the world, he reigned over the world long before the reign of Maharaj Yudhishthir. He was the son of Maharaj Avikshit and was a great devotee of the son of the sun god, known as Yamraj. His brother Samavrata, Samvrata, Samvarta was a rival priest of the great Brihaspati, the learned priest of the demigods. He conducted one sacrifice called Sankara Yagna, by which the Lord was so satisfied that he was pleased to hand over to him the charge of a mountain peak of gold. This peak of gold is somewhere in the Himalaya mountains, and modern adventurers may try to find adventurers may try to find it there. He was so powerful as an emperor that at the day's end of sacrifice, the demigods from the other planets like Indra, Chandra and Brihaspati used to visit his palace. And because he had the gold peak at his disposal, he had sufficient gold in his possession. The canopy of the sacrificial altar was completely made of gold. In his daily performances of the sacrificial ceremonies, some of the inhabitants of Vayuloka, airy planets, were invited to expedite the cooking work of ceremony. And the assembly of the demigods in the ceremony was led by Vishwadeva. 
second point. Hare Krishna. By his constant pious work, he was able to drive out all kinds of diseases from the jurisdiction of his kingdom. All the inhabitants of higher plants like Devaloka and Pitaloka were pleased with him for his great sacrificial ceremonies. Every day he used to give in charity to the learned Brahman and such things as bedding, seeds, conveyances and sufficient quantities of gold. Because of munificent charities and performances of innumerable sacrifices, the king of heaven in the Deva was fully satisfied with him and always wished for his welfare. Due to his pious activities, he remained a young man throughout his life and reigned over the world for 1,000 years, surrounded by his satisfied subjects, ministers, legitimate wife, sons and brothers. Even Lord Krishna praised his spirits of pious activities. He handed over his only daughter to Maharshi Angira and by his good blessings, he was elevated to the kingdom of heaven. First of all, he wanted... Uh, to offer the priesthood of his sacrifices to learned Brihaspati, but the demigod refused to accept the post because of kings being a human being, a man of this earth. He was very sorry for this, but on the advice of Naradamuni, he appointed Samvarta to the post and he was successful in his mission. The success of a particular type of sacrifice completely depends on the priest in charge. In this age, all kinds of sacrifices are forbidden because there is no learned priest among the so-called brahmanas who go by the false notion of becoming sons of brahmanas without brahmanic qualification. In this age of Kali, therefore, only one kind of sacrifice is recommended, Sankirtana Yagna, as inaugurated by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thank you. Translation and purport by Divine Grace AC Bhakti Vedas, Sri Prabhupada Ki Ije. Hare Krishna Vendala Mataji. Read the first paragraph. Perfect. Maharaj Yudhishthira was, was the ideal and celebrated pious king of the world, and still he was greatly afraid after the execution of battle of Kurukshetra because of mass killing in the fight, all of, all of which was uh, done only to install him on the throne. He, he therefore took all responsibility for sins committed in the warfare and to get rid of these sins, he wanted to perform three sacrifices in which horses are offered to the altar. Such a sacrifice is very costly. Even Maharaj Yudhishthira had to collect the necessary heaps of gold left by Maharaj Ma uh, Marutta uh, and the Brahmanas who, who were uh, given gold in charity by King Marutta. The learned Brahmanas could not uh, take away all the loads of gold given by the Maharaj Marutta and therefore they left behind a major portion of the gift. And Maharaj Marutta also did not again collect such heaps of gold given away in charity. Besides that, all the golden plates and utensils which were used in the sacrifice were also thrown in the dustbins and all such heaps of gold remained unclaimed property for a long time till Maharaj Yudhishthira collected them from, uh, for his own purposes. Lord Krishna advised the brothers of Maharaj, Maharaj Yudhishthira to collect the unclaimed property because it belonged to the king. The more astonishing uh, thing is that no subject of the state also collected such unclaimed gold for industrial enterprise or anything like that. This means that the state citizens were completely satisfied with all necessities of life and therefore not inclined to accept unnecessary pr uh, productive inter enterprises for sense gratification. Maharaj Yudhishthira also requestioned the heaps of gold uh, requestioned uh, the heaps of gold for performing sacrifices and for pleasing the Supreme Hari, the personality of Godhead. Otherwise, he had no desire to collect them for the state treasury. Hare Krishna. Hare, Hare Krishna, Lovish Prabhu. You can read this paragraph. Hare Krishna, can you hear me, Prabhu? Yeah, now you now you are out. Yeah, uh, shall I read from one should take lessons? Yes, yes. Okay. One should take lessons from the act of Maharaj Yudhishthira. He was afraid of sins committed on the battlefield and therefore he wanted to satisfy the supreme authority. This indicates that unintentional sins are also committed in our daily occupational discharge of duties. And to counteract even such unintentional crimes, one must sacrifice as 
they are recommended in the revealed scriptures the lord says in bhagavad gita yaj nartha karmano anyat loko yam karma bandhana that one must perform sacrifices recommended in the scriptures in order to get rid of commitments of all unauthorized work or even unintentional crimes which we are apt to commit by doing so one shall be freed from all kinds of sins and those who do not do so but work for self interest for or sense gratification have to undergo all tribulations cured committed sin therefore the main purpose of performing sacrifices is to satisfy the supreme personality hari the process of performing sacrifices may be different in terms of different times place and persons but the aim of such sacrifices is one and the same at all times and in all circumstances that is to say satisfaction of the supreme lord hari that is the way of pious life and that is the way of peace and prosperity in the world at large maharaj yudhishthira did all these as the ideal pious king in the world hare krishna hare krishna sapan ko aho you can read that next two paragraphs hare krishna <clears throat> if maharaj yudhishthira is a sinner in his daily discharge of duties in royal administration of state affairs where in killing of man and animals is a recognized art then we can just imagine the amount of sins committed consciously or unconsciously by the untrained population of the kaliyuga who have no way to perform sacrifice to please the supreme lord the bhagavatam says therefore that the prime duty of the human being is to satisfy the supreme lord by performance of one's occupational duty bhagavad gita 1.2.13 let any man of any place or community caste or creed be engaged in any sort of occupational duty but he must agree to perform sacrifices as it is recommended in the scriptures for the particular place time and person in the vedic literatures it is recommended that in kaliyuga people engage in glorifying the lord by chanting the holy name of krishna kirtanad eva krishnasya mukta sanga param braje without offense by doing so one can be freed from all sins and thus can attain the highest perfection of life by returning home back to godhead we have already discussed this more than once in this great literature in different places especially in the introductory portion by sketching the life of lord sri chaitanya mahaprabhu and still we are repeating the same with a view to bring about peace and prosperity in the society hari krishna Hare Hare Krishna, Yogi Shri. You can read the next two paragraphs. The Lord has the Lord has declared openly in Bhagavad Gita how He becomes pleased with us, and the same process is practically demonstrated in the life and preaching work of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The perfect process of performing yagnas or sacrifice to please the Supreme Lord Hari, the personality of Godhead, who gets us. free from all miseries of existence is to follow the ways of lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu in this dark age of quarrel and dissension maharaj yudhishthira had to collect heaps of coal to secure the uh, paraphernalia for the horse sacrifice yagnas in in days of sufficiency so we can hardly think of such performance of yagnas in in these days of insufficiency and complete scarcity of coal at the present moment we have heaps of papers and promises of their being converted into coal by economic development of modern civilization and still there is no possibility of spending riches like maharaj yudhishthira either individually or collectively or by state patronization just suitable therefore for the age is the method recommended by lord shri Uh, lord sri chaitanya mahaprabhu in terms of the shastra such a method requires no expenditure at all and yet can award more benefit than other expensive methods of yagna performances hari krishna hari krishna jagannath you can read us next two paragraphs hari krishna the horse sacrifice yagna or cow sacrifice yagna yagna performed by the vedic regulations should not be missed misunderstood as a process of killing animals on the on the contrary the animals offered for the yagna were rejuvenated rejuvenated to new 
span of life by the transcendental power of chanting the Vedic hymns, which he properly ch chanted, are different from what is understood by the common layman. The Veda mantras, the Veda mantras are all practical, and the proof is rejuvenation of the sacrificed animal. There is no possibility of such method methodological chanting of the Vedic hymns by so-called Brahmanas or priests of the present age. The untrained descendants of the twice-born twice families are no more like their for, uh, forefathers, and, the, and thus they are counted among the Sudras or once-born men. The once-born man is uh, unfit to chant the Vedic hymns, and therefore there is no practical utility of chanting the original hymns. And, and to save them all, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu produced the Sang Sankirtana movement or Yajna for all practical purposes. And the people of for the then the people of the present age are strongly recommended to follow the sure and recognized part. Hare Krishna. 35. Translation and purport by Divine Grace, AC Bhakti Vedas, Sri Prabhupada, TJ. Hare Krishna, Monica Mataji, you can read the translation purport. Hare Krishna. Lord Sri Krishna, the personality of Godhead, being invited to the sacrifice by Maharaj Yudhishthir, saw to it that they were performed by qualified twice-born Brahmanas. After that, for the pleasure of the relatives, the Lord reminded, reminded a few months. Purport. Lord Sri Krishna was invited by Maharaj Yudhishthira to look into the super, uh, supervision of the performance of Yajna and the Lord to abiding by the orders of his elder cousin caused the performance of Yajnas by, by learned with twice born Brahmanas. Simply taking birth in the family of Brahmana does not make one qualified to perform Yajnas. One must, one must be twice born to, by proper trained and intimation in, in, Intention from, from the bona fide Acharya, the once born seniors of Brahmana families are equal with the once born Sudras and such Brahmana, bandhus, such Brahmana Bandhus or, or unqualified once born seniors must be reject, uh, rejected from any, pers any purpose of religious or Vedic function. Lord Sri Krishna was entrusted to look after this arrangement and perfect as he is. He caused the yajnas to be performed by the bona fide twice born brahmanas for successful execution. Hare Krishna. Pallad 36. Translation. O Sonaka, thereafter the Lord having bade for farewell to King Yudhishthira, Raupadi and other relatives started for the city of Dwaraka, accompanied by Arjuna and other members of the Yadu dynasty. Thus ends the purpose of the first canto, twelfth chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam, entitled Birth, Birth of Emperor Parishit Maharaj. Hare Krishna. So we'll start in the news chapter. Dhritarashtra quits his home. Thirteenth chapter, first sloka. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Sri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Hare Krishna Teja Mataji. Hare Krishna. Translation. Sri Sutta Goswami said, While traveling on a pilgrimage, Vidura received knowledge of the destination of the self from the great sage Maitreya and then returned to Hastinapur. He became as well versed in the subject as he desired. Purport. Vidura. One of the prominent figures in the history of the Mahabharata, he was conceived by Vyasadeva in the womb of the womb of the maidservant of Ambika, mother of Maharaj Pandu. He is the incarnation of Yamaraj, 
being cursed by manduk Ma- manduka muni he was a, he was to become a shudra the story is narrated as follows once upon a time the state police caught some thieves who had concealed themselves in the hermitage of manduka muni the police constables as usual arrested all the thieves and manduk muni along with them the magistrate specifically punished the muni to death by being pierced with a lance when he was uh, just to be pierced the news reached the king and he had once stopped the act on consideration of his being a great muni the king personally begged the muni's pardon for the pers- uh, for the mistake of his men and the saint at once went to yamaraj who prescribed the destiny of the living beings yamaraj being questioned by the muni replied that muni in his childhood pierced an ant with a sharpened straw and for that reason he was put into difficulty the muni thought it unwise on the part of yamaraj that he was punished for his childish innocence and thus the muni cursed yamaraj to become a shudra and this shudra incarnation of yamaraj was known as vidura the shudra brother of dhritarashtra and maharaj pandu but the shudra son of the kuru dynasty was equally treated by bhishma deva along with his other nephews and in due course vidura was married with a girl who was also born in the womb of a shudrani by a brahmana although vidura did not inherit the property of his father the brother of bhishma deva still he was given sufficient state property by dhritarashtra the elder brother of vidura Vidura was very much attached to his elder brother and all along he tried to guide him on the right path during the uh, fratricidal war of kurukshetra vidura repeatedly implored his elder brother to do justice to the sons of pandu but duryodhana did not like such interference by his uncle and thus he practically insulted vidura this resulted in vidura's leaving home for pilgrimage and taking instructions from maitreya arrange second Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta, Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Swapna Mataji. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. You can read the first paragraph. Yeah, yeah. After asking various questions and becoming established in the transcendental loving service of Lord Krishna, Vidura retired from putting questions to Maitreya Muni. Purport. Vidura retired from putting questions before Maitreya Muni. when he was convinced by maitreya rishi that the samam bonam of life is to be finally situated in the transcendental loving service of lord sri krishna who is govinda or one who satisfies his devotees in all respects the conditioned soul the living being in material existence seeks happiness by employing his senses in the modes of materialism but that cannot give him satisfaction he then searches after the supreme truth searches after the supreme truth by the empiric philosophic speculative method and intellectual feats but if he does not find the ultimate goal he again goes down to the material activities and engages himself in various philanthropic and altruistic altruistic works which all fa- fail to give him satisfaction so neither fruitive activities nor dry philosophical speculation can give one satisfaction because by nature a living being is the eternal servitor of the supreme lord sri krishna and all the vedic literatures give him direction towards the ultimate end the bhagavad gita 15.15 confirms this statement like vidura an inquisitive hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna sarpan kumar prabhu hari krishna sarpan prabhu hari krishna yes second paragraph right prabhu yes yes paragraph. like vidura an inquisitive conditioned soul must approach a bona fide spiritual master like maitreya and by intelligent inquiries must try to know everything about karma fruitive activities jnana philosophical research for the supreme truth and yoga the linking process of spiritual realization one who is not seriously inclined to put questions before a spiritual master need not accommodate a show bottle spiritual master nor should a person who may be a spiritual master for other purposes pose to be so if he is unable to engage his disciple ultimately in the transcendental loving service of lord sri krishna Vidura was successful in approaching such a spiritual master like Maitreya and he got the ultimate goal of life bhakti unto Govinda thus there was nothing to be known further about spiritual progress hari krishna 
3 and 4 translation and supported by divine jay shesi bhakti vedanta shri la prabhupada ki jay hari krishna teja mati ji even mati ji translation when uh, they saw vidura return to the palace all the inhabitants mara judishra his younger brothers vidrasha satyaki Sanjaya, Kripacharya, Kunti, Gandhari, Draupadi, Subhadra, Uttara, Kripi, many other wives of the Kauravas and other ladies with children all hurried to him in great delight. It so appeared that they had regained their consciousness after a long period. Purport. Gandhari, the ideal chaste lady in the history of the world, she was the daughter of Maharaj Suvala, the king, uh, king of Gandhara, now Kandhar in Kabul. And in her maiden state, she worshipped Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva is generally worshipped by Hindu maidens to get a good husband. Gandhari satisfied Lord Shiva and by his benediction to obtain 100 sons, she was betrothed to Dhritarashtra, despite his being blind forever. When Gandhari came to know that her would-be husband was a blind man, to follow her life companion, she decided to become voluntarily blind. So she wrapped up her eyes with many silk linens and she was married to Dhritarashtra under the guidance of her elder brother Shakuni. She was the most beautiful girl of her time. And she was equally qualified by her womanly qualities, which endeared every member of the Kaurava court. But despite all her good qualities, she had the natural frailties of a woman. And she was envious of Kunti when the later gave birth to a male child. Both the queens were pregnant, but Kunti first gave birth to a male child. Thus, Gandhari became angry and gave a blow to her own abdomen. As a result, she gave birth to a lump of flesh only. But since she was a devotee of Vyasadeva, by the instruction of Vyasadeva, the lump was divided into 100 parts. And each part gradually developed to become a male child. Thus, her ambition to become the mother of 100 sons was fulfilled, and she began to nourish all the children according to her exalted position. When the issue of the battle of Kurukshetra was going on, she was not in favor of fighting with the Pandavas. Rather, she blamed Dhritarashtra, her husband, for such a patricidal war. She decided that the state be divided into two parts for the sons of Pandu and her own. She was very affected when all her sons died in the battle of Kurukshetra and she wanted to curse Bhima Sena and Yudhishthira but she was checked by Vyasadeva. Her mourning over the death of Duryodhana and Dushasana before Lord Krishna was very pitiful and Lord Krishna pacified her by transcendental messages. She was equally aggrieved on the death of Karna and she described to Lord Krishna the lamentation of Karna's wife. She was pacified by Srila Vyasadeva when he showed her dead sons then promoted to the heavenly kingdoms. She died along with her husband in the jungles of the Himalaya near the mouth of the Ganges. She burned in a forest fire. Maharaja Yudhishthira performed the death ceremony of his uncle and aunt. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Jagannath Prabhu, you can read about Prita. Hare Krishna. Data of Maharaja Surasena and sister of Vasudeva, Lord Krishna's father, Lord Krishna's father, later she was adopted by the Maharaja Kunti Bhoja and hence, uh, and hence she is known as Kunti. She is the incrimination of the success, uh, success potency of the personality of Godhead. The heavenly, the heavenly denizens from these upper planets used to visit the places of King Kunti Bhoja and Kunti was engaged for the uh, reception. She also saved the great mystic sage Durvasa, Durvasa and being satisfied by her faithful service. Durvasa Muni gave, gave, her, gave her him a mantra by which he was possible for her, for her to call for any demigods she pleased. She pleased. As a matter of uh, in, inquisitiveness, she she at once called for the sun god, who was desired a couple a couplement with her, but she declined, but she declined. But the sun god assured her immunity from virgin uh, adulteration, and so she and so she Jagannath he agreed to his. He agreed to his proposal. As a result of his couplement, she became the pregnant 
and Karna was born by her, by the grace of the sun. The, <clears throat> she again turned into a virginal girl, but being afraid of her parents, she quitted the newly born child Karna. After that, when she accurately selected her own husband, she performed the Pandu to, to be her husband. Maharaja Pandu later wanted to retire from family life and adopted, uh, adopted the renounced order of life. Kunti refused to allow her husband to adopt such a life. But at last, Maharaja Pandu gave, gave her permission to become the mother of her sons by calling some other uh, suitable personalities. Kunti did not accept this proposal at first. But when vivid examples were set by Pandu, she agreed. Thus, didn't just dint of the mantra awarded by Durvasa Muni, she called for Dharma Raja and uh, Dharma Raja and thus Yudhishthira was born. She called for the demigods, demigods Vayu, Air, and thus Bhishma was born. She called for Indra, the king of the heaven, and she and thus Arjuna was born. The other two sons, namely Nakula and Sahadeva, were begotten by Pandu himself in the womb of Ma 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 Matri. Later on, later on, Maharaja Pandu died at an early age, for which Kunti was so aggrieved uh, that she fainted. Two co wives, namely Kunti and Matri, Madri, decided that Kunti should live for the maintenance of the five minor children. The Pandavas and Madri should accept the Sati rituals by meaning voluntarily that along with her husband. This agreement was endorsed by the great sages like Sats Satsanga and other present on the occasion. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Sapan Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Sapan Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Later on, when the Pandavas were banished from the kingdom by the integrals of Duryodhana, Kunti followed her sons and she equally faced all sorts of difficulties during those days. During the forest yes. life, one demon girl, Hidimba, wanted Bhima as her husband. Bhima refused, but when the girl approached Kunti and Yudhishthira, they ordered Bhima to accept her proposal and give her a son. As a result of this combination, Gatotkacha was born and he fought very valiantly with his father against the Kauravas. In their forest life, they lived with a Brahmana family that was in trouble because of one Bakasura demon. And Kunti ordered Bhima to kill the Bakasura to protect the Brahmana family against troubles created by the demon. She advised Yudhishthira to start for the Panchala Desha. Draupadi was gained in this Panchala Desha by Arjuna. But by order of Kunti, all five of the Pandav brothers became equally the husbands of Panchali or Draupadi. She was married with five Pandavas in presence of Yasudeva. Kunti Devi never forgot her first child, Karna. <clears throat> and after Karna's death in the Battle of Kurukshetra, she lamented and admitted before. Her other son that Karna was her eldest son prior to her marriage with Maharaja Pandu. Her prayers for the Lord after the battle of Kurukshetra when Lord Krishna was going back home are excellently explained. Later, she went to the forest with Gandhari for severe penance. She used to take meals after each 30 days. She finally sat down in profound meditation and later burned to ashes in a forest fire. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Monica, Right, read the highlighted text. Hare Krishna, Monica Mahasi. Swapna Mahasi, you can read. Can you hear me, Prabhu? There's a cross talk. Hare Krishna, Swapna Mahasi, you can read. Yes. Am I audible, Prabhuji? Yeah, you are audible, Mother. Yeah, yeah. 
the most draupadi the most chaste daughter of maharaja drupada and a partly <clears throat> an incarnation of the goddess sasi the wife of indra maharaja drupada performed a great sacrifice under the superintendence of the sage yaja by his first offering <clears throat> drishtyama was born and by the second offering draupadi was born she is therefore the sister of drishtyumna <clears throat> drishtyumna sorry and she is also named panchali the five pandavas married her as a common wife and each of them begot a son in her maharaja yudhishthira begot a son named pratibhit bhimasena begot a son named sutasoma arjuna begot shrutakirti nakula begot satanika and sahadev begot shrutakarma she is described as the most beautiful lady equal to her mother mother in law kunti during her birth <clears throat> there was an arrow message that she should be called called krishna the same message also declared that she was born to kill many a kshatriya by dint of her blessings from sankara she was awarded five husbands equally qualified when she preferred to select her own husband <clears throat> princes and kings were invited from all the countries of the world she was married with the pandavas during their exile in the forest but when they came when they went back home maharaja drupada gave them immense wealth as a dowry she was well received by all the daughter all the daughter in law of dhritarashtra praise hari krishna monika mataji hari krishna ji when she when she was lost in a glam a uh, gambling game she was forcibly dragged into into the assembly hall and an attempt was made by du, uh, dushasana dushasana to see her naked beauty even through even through there was elder persons like bhishma and drona present she was a great devotee of lord krishna and by her praying the lord himself because became an unlimited garment to Save, save her from the insult. From the insult, a demo, a demon, a demon of the name Jatayu kidnapped her. But her second husband, Bhishma Sena, killed the demon and saved her. She sa- saved the Pandavas from the curse of Maharshi Durvasa by the grace of Lord Krishna. When the Pandavas lived in co- in in. Co- Incognito. Incognito in the place of Virata. Virata Kinshaka was attracted by her execute uh, execute system beauty, and by arrangement with Bhima, the devil was killed, and she was saved. She was very much aggrieved uh, aggrieved when her five sons were killed by Ash- Ashwatthama. Ashwatthama, as as a last stage, she accompanied her husband Yudhishthira and others to fell on mm-hmm. on the way. The cause of her falling from explain explained by Yudhishthira. But when Yudhishthira entered the heavenly planets, he saw Draupadi glory gloriously present there as the goddess of fortune in the heavenly planets. Hari Krishna. Oh, Subhadra, daughter of Vasudeva and the sister of Lord Sri Krishna. she was not only a very dear daughter of vasudeva but also a very dear sister to both krishna and baladeva the two brothers and the sister are represented in the famous jagannath temple of puri and the temple is still visited by thousands of pilgrims pilgrims daily this temple is in remembrance of the lord's visit at kurukshetra during an occasion of solar eclipse the subsequent meeting with the residents of the vrindavana The meeting of Radha and Krishna during this occasion is a very pathetic story, and the Lord Chaitanya, in the ecstasy of his Radharani, always spent a first Lord Sri Krishna at Jagannath Puri. While Arjuna was at Dwaraka, he wanted to save have Subhadra as his queen, and he expressed his desire to Lord Krishna. Sri Krishna knew that his elder brother Lord Baladeva was arranging her marriage elsewhere, and since he did not dare to go against. 
again as the arrangement of Baladeva, he advised Arjuna to kidnap Subhadra. So when all of them were on a pleasure trip on the river the hill, Arjuna managed to kidnap Subhadra according to the plan of Sri Krishna. Sri Baladeva was very angry at Arjuna and he wanted to kill him. But Lord Krishna implored her brother to excuse Arjuna. Then Subhadra was duly married with Arjuna and Abhimanyu was born of Subhadra. At the premature death of Abhimanyu, Subhadra was very mortified, but not on the birth of Parikshit. She was a happy and solaced. Hari. It's already 8.15. Talk to you here. We'll continue in the next class session on Thursday at the same day, 7.30. Thank you so much for giving me your association.